Hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. Back in one of the UK's best foodie cities, back in Bradford. I had a day out here a few weeks ago and absolutely loved it, so I thought I'd come back. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing Chicanos. These guys have been requested quite a lot by you guys on Instagram. I've got a big old list of places to go through. These guys rank quite high, so I'm quite excited to try them. Literally just got off the train. I had no one doing the annoying sippy sips of their tea next to me. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you've obviously not seen my legend review, which you also should. <laughs> but these guys seem really, really cool. Really excited to try the food at Chicano. So let's make our way there now. Right guys, so we are here bad boys all right i'm definitely getting them <laughs> so we are here let's go inside let's check it out right guys so i'm inside um, what i'm going to do in this review because they actually have a really really wide menu a lot more stuff than i thought they actually would have i'm going to order just a variety of stuff from the menu so what i'm going to try and do is balance the things that i think you guys will enjoy and what these guys are famous for and then the stuff that i like and just kind of sort of put them together for example the bad boy bites which i saw outside they've got a big old promo billboardy thing outside looks really really good definitely getting that on the other hand they've also got things like salads which they look great but the only time i like my salad or i ever see salad is on a burger quick mention as well inside looks really really good there's lots of space there's lots of seating uh, it's a really really nice place to sit inside looking forward to starting the review hopefully by the way on the time lapse that i just did you didn't see that i got lost about four times but yeah <laughs> but of course the location for this branch and their other branches will actually be in the description along with the menu and all that kind of jazz as well but anyway let me just wait for the food to come and let's start this review okay so what i'm going to do the food is here and there is a lot of it it smells amazing i'm going to give you guys a quick pan i'll show you what i've got and then i'll actually review each individual item usually I do start with starters but today I'm actually going to go for the burger because this Mexicano looks absolutely fantastic all the chicken is hand cut it's hand uh, battered it's all in-house all the sauces are actually made in-house which I think is a lovely touch I'm gonna start with this because it looks awesome look at that guy it's a good piece of chicken there teas in there some jalapenos let's give this a go Chicken, super soft. I love the actual crisps, they've still got some crunch. Lovely flavoring on that. Batter is tasty. This is a quality, quality burger. The meat quality is so nice. Definitely tastes more like a gourmet burger than the place I went to before this, which was Salas, which honestly, quite disappointed by. This, however, delicious. So quite keen to move on because there's so much to actually get through, but that's a really, really good start. I think I'll next go for, do you know what? Let's actually go for some pot wings. So I've got three. Again, all like hand battered, all made in-house. So let's try this. Oh. Oh. Hey, man. Batter is amazing. It's super crunchy, really flavorful. The meat is super soft, really succulent. That gets a hey man for sure. Really good kick to that, really well flavored. The wing, absolutely delicious. Can't wait to try the grilled wings. This of course is fried, delicious, hey man. Okay, moving on to the buffalo bow. Again, this is all hand cut. The sauces are in-house. They're made every, every single day fresh. This however has got some barbecue sauce, which generally I find a little bit sweet, but I'm gonna crack on with this. Also, it's actually got a floured bun. I don't think the other one, yeah, the first burger I had didn't have, that was a seeded bun. Floured, which again, I'm not normally a fan of, because when you touch it, your hands get all floury. I'm just not a fan of it. <laughs> again, I cannot fault the meat. It's absolutely delicious, super soft. The batter is lovely. Probably not gonna be my favorite burger because I don't like the sweetness of barbecue. However, this actually isn't overpowering. It's actually not that sweet at all. It's actually really tasty, but for me so far, the Mexicano, absolutely delicious because I love the kick you get and I actually love the crunchiness of those little tortilla chips in there as well. For me, that's absolutely delicious. I love the jalapenos too. If you like barbecue, get this instead. I'm really looking forward to trying those bad boy bites now because like I said, they've got like promo all over the place. It's on like the front uh, windows, it's on the side. So I think that's something they're trying to push. So. I've got both flavors, I'm looking forward to trying those. But let's start with the wings because do these just not look so pretty? Look how deliciously pretty and beautiful these look. They're presented really well. This is called the Dynamite Trio. So you normally get a three by three. But what I've done, because I've got four flavors, I've got four sets of two and then like an extra one. So there's still nine wings in there, but I've basically got all the flavors. There's peri, I think there's mango, there's barbecue, and there's Latino off the top of my head. I think that's what it is, if I can remember correctly. Let's try, do you know what? Let's try the Perry first, because I haven't had anything Perry here so far. 
Uh, and have a Perry burger as well, I just didn't order it. Let's try that first. Again, all these sauces in-house, which I think is a really, really nice touch. Oh. Grilled wing also, hey man. Loving the peri wing, loving the peri wing. Let's try, hopefully, I think this is the mango wing. I'm not, oh, that is mango. Let's try that. That one's a little bit sweet for me. I'm not sure if that really goes personally. I think the sweetness is quite overpowering. So for me, probably not. Um, it's quite sweet. The peri was delicious. I'm gonna now move on to, let's try this. I think this is Latino, which I don't even know what that means. Let's try this. Oh, that's what's up. The Latino is absolutely delicious. The peri and the Latino are banging. Let me just, I'm so messy. Let me just wipe and clean myself up and go on to the barbecue and move on to the hot bites as well. I'm such a messy eater. <laughs> oh, the barbecue wing, man. These wings are absolutely banging. The one I should say in bed of salad. I didn't mention that before. This trio, nine wing salad. Highly recommend, delicious. I'm gonna move on guys, but the only thing I wasn't super keen on was the mango. The other three flavors, banging. Ooh, actually, before I move on to the bites, what I didn't show you before, so I've got a burger. This one's actually on a brioche bun. So I think I've had three buns today. I've had the brioche, I've had a flowered bun, and a seeded bun, that's cool. Um, this one's actually got three old animals in it. So we've got a beef patty there at the bottom. They've got the chicken, which is what these guys are known for. They've got some rashers. I think these are actually beef rashers rather than turkey, but I could be wrong. Um, they've got some mayo in there, some cheese, and some red onion. So this looks pretty darn good. Let's try this. I hope I don't have like sauces and stuff all over me, but. These guys nail it with the chicken every time, man. Everything that's got chicken in it so far has been phenomenal. The beef patty is tasty as well. The rashers, which I don't usually get, they're perfectly serviceable too, but the actual chicken, they nail that every single time. I'm super impressed that a place that's famous for chicken can actually make a really, really good patty as well. Everything here in-house, I think I've said that a few times, but it bears repeating really. Super delicious. I'm loving this. What I would do, I think, is add a little bit of their homemade chili sauce and garlic sauce. I think I would add that to this burger, sort of raise the flavor profile a little bit, but that'll make it absolutely delicious. I'm quite looking forward to trying these bad boy boys. Like I said, they're everywhere. There's pictures of them, there's promo for them. They've got buffalo flavor and they've got Louisiana flavor. So I thought I'd actually get both. So these look like pieces of uh, chicken breast, coated, fried, and then sort of doused in that flavor, um, Louisiana or buffalo. But they've also got some sesame seeds and spring onion as well, just to give it that little extra bougie touch, why not? Let's try the Louisiana first. I think that's probably what I'm gonna prefer because it should have a bit more of a kick to it. Pasty, decent, but I think those bites could be a little bit bigger. You get a good portion in there, so they're not skimping on the actual amount of meat in there. We just cut them so they're a bit bigger and have a bit better bite to them. That's what I think I would prefer. Let's now try the barbecue. I don't know if it's because I've got so much spicy stuff in my mouth, but I quite like the barbecue. The sweetness is actually really nice. Um, a little bit surprised by that because usually I don't like barbecue. But again, if you can actually cut the chicken a little bit thicker, I think that'll make it proper tasty. But good sides, man, good sides. But for me so far, sorry, you, can, you can't see it. I'm just playing around on the table and trying to get the lid back on. <laughs> I think sides wise, the hot wings and the grilled wings were absolutely fantastic. I highly, highly recommend them. Both of those get a hey man without a shadow of a doubt. They are delicious. But what I'm gonna do now, guys, is actually try their peri chicken because that's something they had on the menu. I thought, why not? Fried chicken on point. The grilled wings, to be fair, were nice, but I thought, let's actually try the peri chicken. This is the dine out meal. So I've gone for half a chicken, um, like I said, peri, and then you actually get, I should show you, you get some salad and then you get some rice with it as well. I thought I'd get it because this is probably something that I would eat sort of day to day. I quite like grilled chicken, rice and veg. It's quite a regular meal for me because I train a lot. Um, so when I'm not reviewing, I like to keep the calories low if I'm being honest with you. So when I do review, I can overload with food. So do you know what? Let's put these away. Let's, let's, let's get our hands involved actually. Got just a lovely taste to it, really good body of flavor. Chicken again, they've just nailed it, super soft, really tasty. Good sized chicken there. Good amount of rice on the side and salad too. Something which I actually almost nearly forgot because there's so much good food going on, so much good meat based stuff. I actually almost forgot to show you guys uh, chips. 
think what I'm gonna do guys is actually have some dessert because at the front on the counter, they've got this little section, this little box thing, which I think the desserts are 99p. Got some donuts in there, I've got some brownies in there. So I thought I'd actually try that too. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, my mouth is kind of tingly, it's kind of spicy, I think I'm gonna go for a brownie. So here we go, this is the salted caramel peanut butter brownie. I think this was only 99p, I think, uh, which, banging. Let's try this. Oh, that's so soft, so fudgy. It's quite dense, like brownies should be, but it's super soft, little bit of crunch at the top. That, guys, that is such a good way to finish them with a 99p. You gotta get this, you gotta get this. I just realized that this is a fairly new playlist. Even though I've got over 100 videos on my channel, the Bradford playlist, this is pretty new. So if you're new to the channel, Hey Man is basically the top accolade I can give. If something is over nine out of 10, it gets a Hey Man. They're not that common. They're not, they're pretty rare to be honest. So if I say Hey Man, it means I really, 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 really like something. But of course I can really enjoy something. It can be an eight out of 10. That's really good, I'll still eat it. But Hey Man is reserved for very, very, very good things that are nine out of 10 or above. Right guys, so that was my review for Chicanos. Really, really enjoyed my time in there. So glad I've sort of knocked them off the list. I'm so glad you guys have recommended them. If there's anywhere else that you want me to review, please put it in the comments or just DM me on Instagram either way. Because again, I don't know Bradford super well, but I want to get to know better. Just, yeah, really enjoyed that. What I'm gonna do now actually is, honestly, don't know where I'm going, but, <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find another place to review. Uh, I'll upload it over the next two to three days. That's how long it'll probably take me to edit. So be on the channel. If you wanna know where that is, because honestly, I don't know right, myself right now. If you wanna know where that is, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell, hit all the bells. Ring that bell for me. That'll keep you notified and updated on all my videos. But thank you so much, guys, for staying by to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button. That always helps the channel. What happens? You hit like helps exposure on my channel because YouTube are like, people like this content and they show more people, that helps grow the channel. So if you wanna support the channel, make sure you hit the like button, but I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.